Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my full review for you guys on the Vivid Shields by InnoIn. Today we're going to be taking a look at the HD Crystal Clear as well as the Re HD Reduced Glare screen guards. Uh, basically what the Crystal Clear is, is a Crystal Clear screen shield. Uh, the HD Reduced Glare is an anti-fingerprint, anti-glare screen shield. So, there you go. Uh, you can pick these up, of course, over on InnoIn's website. I will, of course, have a link to it right down there in the bottom bar, as I always do. And these are available, uh, this is a UK company, so these are available for £8 each. Uh, each pounds equates in current conversion rates to about 12 to $13 a package. So, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty decent price for screen shields, especially given the fact that you get three of them in here which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and crack it open and I'll show you guys everything that's included. And then I'll go ahead and install them on my phone and come back in a couple days and let you guys know what I think. So what all are we getting in the package here? Inside the package, you're gonna get a little microfiber cleaning cloth as well as a little InnoIn squeegee for your screen shield install. And then some instructions here. InnoIn, innovative inception. Little instruction guide there, kind of how to, you know, install your screen shield and a bunch of different languages. Cool beans. And then here in the package, you're going to get not one, not two, but three screen shields included for your $12 to $13, uh, which is a pretty good deal. You know, $12, $13 bucks for three screen shields is pretty darn decent. So there you go. The crystal clear is, again, exactly the same as the... the as the um, as the crust, the anti glare, you know, inside the package, you're going to get all of the same stuff. Your little squeegee, your little microfiber, and then your you know brochure guide instructions here, as well as one, two, three screen shields, just like so. Cool beans. So as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and install one of these on my phone. Go ahead and rock it for a couple days. I'll rock a couple of each. Uh, each one for a couple of days and then I'll come back and I'll let you guys know what I think of both the anti-glare as well as the crystal clear so I'll see you guys soon okay guys I am back it is a couple of days later and I have been rocking the HD reduced glare screen shield for a couple days now and I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts on it um, as you can see it is the anti-glare screen shield anti-fingerprint that you are used to seeing that we've seen many, many times before. It's kind of that matte finish uh, that reduces the glare on your iPhone screen. And it works super well. Um, those of you who've watched my videos for a while will know that I am not the hugest fan of anti-glare screen shields. I like the beautiful retina display on the iPhone ever since the iPhone 4 and the 4S and now the 5. And um, I don't like the, you know, basically, when you're using a screen shield like this, it kind of uh, dulls the screen a little bit kind of makes it look a little bit grainy uh, which I am not a big fan of I like the you know, like everything nice and crystal clear and sharp and so on and so forth uh, but I do think that anti-glare screen shields are great for people who spend a lot of time outdoors if you're outdoors or in bright light a lot these are really going to serve you very very well I'm not really so I tend to prefer the crystal clear ones but there you go as you can see it lines up pretty well um, the cutouts lined up perfectly. When I installed it, I lined up the cutouts here on the bottom first because that's where the tabs are on the screen shield. And I lined it up perfectly. However, it doesn't seem to be cut quite perfectly. I got this little bit of bubbling down here at the bottom because it's just hitting the edge of the bottom of the phone. And there's a little tiny space up here at the top. So I probably should have eked it up a little bit more towards the top. I'll do that with a crystal clear one when I install it. And I'll be back again in a couple of days and let you guys know what I think of the crystal clear one. Cool beans, guys. It's been a couple of days and I'm back and I'm ready to give you my review on the HD crystal clear screen guard from the very cool people over at Vivid Shield. Um, it's actually been more than a few days. Um, I've been rocking this for almost a week now. It's been a little while since I had time to get around shooting video. My bad. But here we are. We're ready to take a look at it now. Um, as you can see, it is, in fact, the crystal clear variety. My install on this one went much better than the anti-glare one. Part of the problem I had was these cutouts for the home button, as you can see here, and the 
front facing camera and ear speaker cutouts are a little bit larger particularly around the home button where you're doing the install are a little bit larger than they really needed to be and I was trying to go by those to line it up and as you can see they aren't quite perfectly cut so it's it having a little bit of interference there I was getting it a little bit too low once I moved it up a little bit higher I pretty much got a perfect install as you can tell they're really you know from first glance doesn't appear to be a screen shield on the phone so there you go as far as clarity or rainbow effect or anything like that goes it's pretty darn good pretty crystal clear I didn't notice any rainbow affecting or anything like that you know where you get that rainbowing across the screen on some cheaper screen shields didn't notice any of that with these um, they seem pretty darn good and uh, at eight pounds or about twelve dollars a package for three of them they're a pretty good deal too so there you go. That's pretty much going to do it for my review on the Vivid Shields, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the very cool people over at Vivid Shield for sending these over to me for review. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the link right down there in the bottom bar to their website if you're interested in them. And thanks for watching. That's going to do it for today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cool beans. Rock on.